All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, hopefully everybody is being safe out there, doing your social distancing, and basically just being healthy, especially in these crazy time of ours. So hopefully this will help pass the time a little bit, maybe be a little entertaining, <laughs> who knows? But hopefully it helps you pass the time. You know, that's my biggest thing. Learn a few things and stay safe. That's my biggest concern. So today we're going to be talking about Loopback 2 again, um, a video I put out about two months ago, three months ago. I had like an epiphany or a light bulb went off, and the video I put out a couple months ago, I think I did it all wrong. Um, I found a better way of doing it and a, an easier way of doing it than I was before, and the audio sounds 10 times better. So I'm going to redo my Loopback 2 video here and call it Update to Loopback 2 or something like that. So uh, stand by and let me head over to the computer and then uh, we'll get started. Thanks. All right, everybody. So now that we're here on Loopback 2, this was the old way or the way I showed you how to do it a couple months ago. Um, if you notice, I have both inputs going to one channel. So if you notice on Final Cut Pro, I have channel one and two going into only one channel. Same with RX-7, channel one and two going into one channel and so forth and so forth. So one of the things I noticed was I didn't have mute one capturing on. So that kind of gave me a ghost or a feedback. So that sounded terrible. And then I was trying to monitor it the, the wrong way. So let me go back to the new way of doing this and let me show you. So the new way is I have each channel, like up here in Final Cut Pro, channel one and two going to channel one and two. Isotope RX-7 one and two going to channel one and two. So this makes it a lot easier when you're building this. You don't have to worry about, you know, deleting the channels and moving them around and all that stuff. And then when I'm recording, I have my monitor turned on so I can listen to what I'm recording through my headphones of my Mix Pre. And then when I'm not recording, I just turn this monitor off, but leave loop back on. I, I hope that makes sense. So this makes it sound really good. And I don't have any problems uh, recording this way. And I can just use the setup everywhere else in my computer and not worry about it. So I don't have to worry about sound or audio coming out of the speakers and then coming into the microphone, you know, because all that sounds kind of funky. So let me show you how to build a new one real quick. So we'll go down here and, and say new virtual device. I'm just going to turn this off for now because we don't want it interfering. So we'll just call it loopback audio. You can change that if you want. This pass through, I'm going to go ahead and delete. And then you can just start adding your audio sources like RX-7, notice channel one and two went to channel one and two. I can add um, Logic Pro 10, once again, one and two went to one and two. I can add another source, my Mix Pre 3. And here I'm just using, again, channel one and two to one and two. Now, one of the things I forgot to do before was to do a monitor, and I want to use my Mix Pre because I want that to come out of the headphones in the Mix Pre, so it doesn't come out of my computer speakers or anything like that, so it interferes with recording. So, very easy, very simple. Um, this is the latest version of Loopback 2, which just came out for me today. So it may have come out a little sooner, but this is definitely a new version for me. So this is just a, a quick and easy, simple way of setting it up. So let me go back with everything the way it is now and everything's hooked up and on. And we'll go through and do some tests here to make sure it sounds good. That was one of my problems before is if I go to Logic Pro or RX-7 and I wanted to demonstrate something, the audio just turned out terrible. So let's see if we fix that. So stand by and let me switch over. All right, so here we are on RX-7 Advanced. Let me go ahead and do a recording. 
we'll just do a simple mono 48K for a sample rate. We'll hit OK. And if you notice down here, it's armed. So let's go ahead and hit record. All right, everybody, this is a test of using Loopback 2 and RX7 along with OBS Studio. So let's see what this sounds like. All right, so we went ahead and stopped it. Let's play this back and make sure that it worked. All right, everybody, this is a test of using Loopback 2 and RX7 along with OBS Studio. So very cool, that sounded really good. So let's go ahead to Logic Pro and make sure that works as well. All right, everybody, now that we're over on Logic Pro, let's try recording a test and make sure this sounds good as well. So we'll go ahead and hit the record button. All right, everybody, this is a test of Loopback 2 with Logic Pro 10 through OBS Studio. So hopefully this sounds good. So let's go ahead and play it and see what it sounds like. All right, everybody, this is a test of Loopback 2 with Logic Pro 10 through OBS Studio. So hopefully this sounds good. All right, so pretty cool. So let me head on back here to loop back to so we can go through it one more time. All right, and if you notice, my levels are fine. So one of the big things you wanna make sure is mute when capturing is turned on. That way you don't get two feeds of the same audio. That was one of my big mistakes. The other mistake was to put this channel one and two into one channel. Don't need to do that either. And my other mistake was I didn't put up a monitor so I can monitoring when I'm recording only. So if I don't want to listen to it and I want to hear my normal audio, I can just go ahead and turn this off. Logic Pro and RX7 are both to the Mix Pre 3 in my preferences. So that way this is just recording in the background to OBS Studio. So I hope this makes sense. Um, if it doesn't, definitely leave me a comment or question below and I'll try to help you the best I can. So let me go ahead and get out of this. Thanks. All right, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed this little video on Loopback 2 and the updates I did to it. And hopefully it made it easier to use Loopback 2 in the future. It's a great program. There's just some little quirks you got to learn to get it to its best potential and to use it the best way, especially with a Mac. I think I did that, you know, hopefully the epiphany light bulb worked just fine. So please leave a comment below, you know, give me two double thumbs up if you like this, two big double thumbs down if you didn't like it. So anyways, please be safe out there. Wash your hands, social distancing. All right, everybody, have a great day or night. Happy shooting. Thank you. Bye.